Hello, Aquarius! Welcome back to your monthly love reading for December 2019. This is what does your soul want you to know when it comes to love? Okay, I hope you guys have been well. Thank you for those who have subscribed and liked and comment and I, I just appreciate it. It doesn't go unnoticed or unappreciated. Um, yeah, so I'm going to pull a Rebel deck a card from the Rebel deck for you. Um, I like that when I do readings that specifically specifically about you. Other people may come up in your reading, but this is for you. This could play out for the Cross Watcher too, if you're a Cross Watcher. Um, but I like to pull the Rebel deck because I'm not going to be harsh like the Rebel deck, but the Rebel deck is going to give you that tough love, all right? And sometimes we just kind of need that, but you'll have the best of both wor worlds here. <laughs> um, the softer love, even though I can become very firm, um, this is going to be the harsh love. All right, so let me uh, let me finish shuffling these cards for you. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Universe Source, what messages do you have for my Aquariuses in love for the month of December 2019? This is their monthly love reading. The last reading of the year for the month. Although I have weeklies coming up, but as far as overall monthly, this is the last one, you guys. Oh my goodness. We're moving into 2020. That's going to be pretty exciting. I'm looking forward to it, so I hope you guys are too. All right, last shuffle for my Aquarius, and I'm going to pull a Rebel deck before I lay out the cards and let you know what it is you need to know. Okay. So let's get you a rebel card here. All right. What messages do we have for my Aquarius is in love here? Okay. We got a card. I flipped over. Okay. Loosen the F up. Control freaks don't get laid. Okay. Okay. And on the back it says you equals time. See, that's really harsh, but we got to see why this came out. This could be a whole separate message. Like, maybe you know, like, dang, oh, I, do need, I, need, I do need to loosen up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't keep treating men or keep treating women like I do. Or thinking, you know, I don't know. Right now, I'm just getting someone is a little bit uptight when it comes to the opposite sex or the same sex. I don't know. However you take it. But I do, I, that's what I get when that card came out. Like somebody is a little bit uptight. Okay, but let's see how the, um, let's see what comes out in the tarot. All right, so what do you need to work on? This is what your soul wants you to know. Wow, Aquarius. The nine, the nine of pentacles, nine of coins. Um, yeah, wow. Another sign had that. Okay, um... Sorry, I didn't expect that card. It kind of threw me off a little bit. What's in your subconscious mind? The King of Coin, which is the King of Pentacles. Um, your obstacle is the Chariot. Okay. The potential outcome. Six of Cups. And we're going to give you some life homework. Not just advice, but it can serve as advice. But it's going to be something you have to work on in your life, period. I'm sorry. From the bottom of the deck. The Emperor. The Emperor is your life homework. We'll, we'll clarify that and see what's happening. Underlying energy. Four of coins. <laughs> My room of numerals throw me off a little bit sometimes. All right. Four of Pentacles. Someone's disappointed, I would say. Feels like that. With the Four of Pentacles. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Four of Pentacles is not. That's someone holding back. Not disappointed. Excuse me. I'm thinking Four of Cups. That's someone holding back. That's someone. Man, that kind of matches your Oracle card. Just saying. So, you do you need to be, do you need to work on being independent? Being more, mm. hmm, 
Let's see, why is the nine of coin here? For Aquarius. The three of wands. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you guys. Uh being independent. That's what I'm getting. Maybe stepping out and doing the unknown. Come out of your comfort zone. See what's out there. Go out to broaden your horizon. What is the energy uh, behind the Nine of Coins? What is the energy behind the Nine of Coins? What is the energy behind the Nine of Coins? The Ten of Coins. Okay. Uh, nine of, I'm sorry, Ten of Coins is the energy behind it. I don't think I should take this. This is a lot. Yeah. But I will consider them. Moving on to something better. Feeling stuck. Could be in a toxic situation. We don't know. Could be unhealthy. I don't know. Um, why is the Ten of Pentacles here? The Five of Swords. Maybe there was... Maybe you had a very stable... Okay. Maybe you had a very stable relationship, but... It didn't work out, like the relationship ended, and so now, with the Page of Swords there, um, because the Page of Swords speaks truth, maybe you need to face the truth, maybe you need to speak some sort of truth, why is the Three of Wands here? But I think you need to step out of your comfort zone. Step out of, um, or, or not even just a comfort zone, like go out and do something. Like loosen up. Why is the three, why is the three of wands here? Because maybe something happened and it's causing you to not really trust. I have the ace of swords with the king of wands. I mean, you could be dealing with the uh, fire sign. Why is the not why is the page of swords here? Oh yeah. You're worried about it's like you're worried about being powerless or being stuck. I get that. That's why your oracle card is saying this. Like loosen up. Oh, Aquarius. <laughs> like loosen up. Go expand your horizon. Go out into the unknown and have fun. Like, this Ace of Swords is, like, releasing confusion. Uh, why is the King of Swords here? No. Why is the King of Wands here? Excuse me. The Two of Wands. Why is the Two of Wands here? I mean, it could be just at a crossroads. Ace of Pentacles. Like, maybe you don't know what you really want. Maybe you don't know what you want. It's like, I think I want this, but then when that comes, it's like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> so you gotta, I think this is just this nine of coin here. It's almost like just being okay, finding comfort, finding the beauty of being this beautiful single person, like embracing it, not being bitter because you are single. You know what I'm saying? You could be a single person, Aquarius. If you're not single, if you are in a relationship, um, I think this is even still embracing your independence and not holding it against the person that you are in a relationship with. Because the King of Coin, that's the King of Pentacle, is in your subconscious mind. Um, why is the King of Pentacles here? The Fool. So the King of Pentacles is a an Aries or a Taurus. It's a lot more Earth energy. Why is the Fool here? Oh, man. The Ten of Wands, it's like moving in a new path. 
is very burdensome for you. So you're juggling if you even want to be married, if you want to be happy. Um, Aquarius, this is you. You're doing this. Juggling. A commitment. Juggling. This. Like, the, I feel like the success is here for you. You could have Aries or Taurus in your chart. Like, this is you. You... you <laughs> What is the energy behind the king of coin? What is the energy behind the king of coin? The four of wands. This is a... Um, that could be family, soulmate, um, even twin flame energy. You're just, this. Could, I mean, this card could represent freedom as well. Why is the Four of Wands here? We got the Six of Swords with the Magician in reverse. Um, the Magician in the reverse. Is it you do want this or you want to be free from this? You want to celebrate something, but I, I think you, why do I feel like something is, you like you're not understanding something, like you're not, I think you, I think to some degree you know that you're this way, but you're not, you're not embracing it. I think because there's this fear of, of going, taking this leap and being hurt. Like if I do this, like somebody's going to hurt me like they did in the past. But I, I, you, I feel like you, you want this though. You, I believe you do want this. Mm-hmm. Like you don't, like you're lead, like you don't have this, you're lacking self-confidence, I, I believe. Like you, you don't have trust in people, <laughs> like romantically. Because I believe you were hurt in the past. So the obstacle is a chariot. Moving in a more positive direction. Why is the chariot here? This is your obstacle. Why is the chariot here? Ten of swords. That's what I'm saying. Is I think you're still hurt. You're still very hurt. So the oracle is saying loosen up, you know, in a very harsh way. But I am saying, um, I don't want to just say loosen up. I say, you know, heal from the past. Heal from those heartbreaks and those traumas. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Because this is your obstacle. Like, it's like you can't move on from it. And this is probably why you're not going out dating. You're not um, having fun. Um, the two of pentacles in the reverse, like you're just, you're just, like you're discouraged because of the past. Why is the two of pentacles here? Now, um, I have the eight of pentacles with the six of cups. Um, you have, like, this is even working on, because the Six of Cups, working on, like, happiness or even being cooperative and helpful. Maybe when someone approaches you, what, what is the energy of the chariot? What is the energy behind this chariot? Behind this obstacle, okay. The Hermit, the Temperance, 
in reverse, seven of pentacles in reverse, and the queen of oh, pentacles in reverse. Okay. So this is withdrawing, being in solitude, but it's because you're so conflicted. Like, I, you're, remember, you were juggling the Hierophant. That's like commitment or marriage or something traditional. And with the seven... Sorry, let me show you guys. See? And with the seven of pentacles in the reverse... Um, like, you're not rushing toward anything. You're not moving toward... I mean, the Queen of Pentacles, that's Sagittarius, Capricorn energy. Um, you could be dealing with those people. Like, slow to move. Maybe have there, Maybe there's someone in your energy, in your life, who wants to be with you, who wants to get to know you or date you, but you're moving slow. Like, you're, you're like snail mail here with the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. That's very slow progress. Mm-hmm. Um, like, it's almost like it's hard for you to be nice. <laughs> like, it's hard for you to just let people in. Oh, my God. I know how it feels, my loves. I do. But you have to find a way. I think it just comes from healing. You know, you can't force yourself to be this way toward People want to date you, men and women, but you can try. If you haven't seen my, um, what is it? My one word of motivation, it talks about the, the word was practice. And so you, you're going to have to practice doing this. If someone walks up to you because they find you attractive, then great. This is a perfect time for me to, even though it's real life. And I mentioned this, this is real life. And so Take the time out to actually speak to that person. And you need to grow a pair, okay? And say, you know, if you're not interested, just say you're not interested. But there's no reason. You want to get in the habit of being cordial and being nice to people. Not kind of like, ew, like, oh, God, here's another one. Or, you know, if you're, <laughs> if you're a woman, you know, be like, all oh, men suck. All men are dogs. You know, that old saying. Or if you're a guy, be like, forget love, I can't stand love because you've been hurt. Because th those are the only people who are saying those things. It's like you feel more like in control of yourself when you are a certain way toward people. And that's, it's not cool because you're coming off distant and cold and it's not, that's not fun. So, the potential outcome here for you is the Six of Cups. Why is the Six of Cups here? This could be somebody from the past or something from the past. Why is the Six of Cups here? Mm. Queen of Swords, the Ice Queen, with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. So... I, I think someone from your past is going to, like, I don't know, tell you something you don't want to hear. Queen of Swords, air sign, this could be you. Maybe you are going to, maybe you are going to, like, rebel. What is the energy behind the six? of cups maybe you want to rebel like towards somebody from your past why is the six of cups here dang that's, i hate when all these cards come out king of swords man that could be that could be you that is your energy i believe king of swords is you aquarius three of wands in the reverse um, oh God, this is not good. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Three of Swords in the reverse. 
with the king of swords. I think this is you being the ice prince or king, ice queen. You got the king and the queen here. Somebody who's rebelling, someone who's, you know, I think this is you. This is all you because I'm, I'm getting that. With that three of wands in the reverse, I think there's a lot of pride here. Like you're not gonna, I'm not gonna let you see me sweat. Like you're not gonna get the best of me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut you off before you can even hurt me. Like you won't even get my number. Oh no, you guys. We gotta loosen up. Look, that's why this car came. <laughs> I'm not laughing, but I'm laughing. Let's read that again. Because you're not going to get anywhere with anybody. And I get it, you're hurt, but you have to do the healing. You have to go through the healing. And that's why your underlying energy was is the four of coins. is because you are holding back. You are restricting yourself. You're not allowing yourself to be free in love. So let's get let's get your guidance. I'm sorry, your your homework. <laughs> this is your homework. It's not just guidance. It is guidance, but it is what you need to work on. Okay? So you, it's the emperor. Stability. The emperor represents stability. Having a solid foundation. Um, he, he's an authoritative person. He has structure. He has power. He does take control. So let's see. Why is the Emperor Aquarius's life homework? Let me shuffle these. Why is the Emperor here? Mm. Mm. The Devil card popped out. I think you have to take your... Um, let me see something. Hmm, okay. I was just looking, and I'm, I have a cheat sheet over here. I was just looking because the emperor here for your homework, um, I thought it was for you to take control, but the devil card is here. There's something... I, I, I think you, this is a, a a pattern of yours that's not... It's not conducive for what for for love, but I, I feel like you want love. Why is the devil card here? You need to take control over this, you, over yourself. Why is the devil card here? Because what you're doing is not. Mm -mm. Okay, these are way too many cards. Let's see. This popped out first. We got the five of swords, the six of wands, the chariot. Wow. I think this is working on your ego, working on that pride, working on um, overcoming the past and really moving in a more positive direction. That is your, again, check out my one word of motivation. It is definitely going to motivate you because the word for you, Aquarius, is to practice. I'm sorry, we hear sirens. Practice. Practice improves proficiency. If someone walks up to you, okay, and action. Hi, Aquarius, how are you? Oh, I'm doing good. May I get your name? No, no, don't say no. Even if you give them a nickname, you don't have to give them a fake name or a fake number. And if you're not interested to say you're not interested, but work on being nice and cordial. I'm sorry, you guys. Hold on while the sirens go. Okay, sorry guys, it was some sirens going on. But this is you, Aquarius, being cordial, being nice, being um, allowing yourself to embrace someone. Not worried about the past, not worried about what someone else did to you. Because it's, remember, we're innocent until proven guilty. Not guilty and you have to prove to me that you're innocent. 
That's so unfair. That is so unfair. I mean, imagine someone comes to you and they say, you know what, as far as I'm concerned, Aquarius, you're a liar and you're a cheater until you show me that you're not. That is so messed up. That is so messed up. But I feel like some of you are doing that. And if you're not doing that, you're doing some sort of variation of that whole you're guilty until I prove you innocent. So your homework is to ground yourself, take control, like be in control. When you feel that urge to just be standoffish and uptight, like take control over it. This is your homework. Take control over it. You know what I'm saying? Kill the ego, kill the pride. Like I can't let them allow them to see me vulnerable. No, you need to overcome the past. Go through the healing process deal with it face it cry about it you know even if you have to go and get closure or talk to that person or get something off your chest there are so many ways to heal um, then you need to do that and move in a more positive direction yeah i feel like i should pull a card for the chariot why is the chariot here mm. the lovers oh i, I told you Come on now, move in a more positive t t towards love, Aquarius. That that just tells me it's here for you. It is out there for you. Don't hold back. Loosen up, like the card says. You know, don't be this. <laughs> okay, what I'm saying, loosen up so that you can meet the love of your life. So that you can meet that wonderful person who's not gonna be like the person from the past. You know what I'm saying? And you guys can move on and, sh and skip all into the sunlight and pick flowers and roses from the garden. Yeah. All right. Woo! That's all I have for you, Aquarius. I'm excited. I, 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 you can do this. I really, really believe in you. I really believe that you can do this. You can master this and take control and really heal from what someone else has done for you, to you. Okay, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Um, subscribe and like this video. And um, I will be seeing you guys next time. Okay? Mwah. Deuces.